morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everybody. Happy, happy Sunday. Praise the Lord. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Praise the Lord. Happy, happy Sunday, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. Happy Sunday, my Doris. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everyone that's getting on. Happy Sunday, my Barbara Roundtree. Happy Sunday, Brother Norman Bells. Happy Sunday to everyone that's getting on this Sunday, Sunday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's good that we thank God for another day for life, health, and strength in Jesus' name. Happy Sunday to everyone that's getting on. Please type in your name and let me know where you're from, except the ones I know where they're from. Happy Sunday, Barbara Rowtree, to Ma Doris and Brother Norman, to Happy Sunday to Jill. Happy Sunday morning to everyone that's getting on. AJ LaBoy Rubenstein, happy Sunday to you and to your husband in Jesus' name. Blessings upon you today. Good to have you on. Praise God. Happy Sunday morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Let me know how you're doing. God is good this morning. And we just bless the Lord for another day. We thank God for life, health, and strength. God bless you, Jill. Happy Sunday. Another beautiful day. Today, the sun is shining out, no clouds. I don't think it's too, too hot outside, so we thank God for life, health, and strength. Let's begin. God bless you. Happy Sunday, Katrina Miller. Happy Sunday to everyone. Uh, so we continue to give God hearts of praise this morning, hearts of gratitude, hearts of adoration. Let's continue to fill this news feed up with hearts. We had an amazing night last night of prayer. We had an encounter with God prayer last night at six from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Hope. It was just amazing. So we had an awesome night of prayer. Happy Sunday, Sonia Roundtree. Happy Sunday again to Katrina Miller. We bless the Lord. So we had an awesome night of prayer last night. Holy Spirit met us there. We, it was just an amazing time in the presence of the Lord. Happy Sunday, Pastor Faye, Pastor Faye Scott Gordon, all the way from North Carolina. We love you. Well, we miss you, Pastor Faye. Happy Sunday. Blessings to you and the family. Amen. Yes, Mandara, she said, God is truly so good. Amen. So we bless the Lord today. We're going to continue with our uh, encounter with God prayer gathering this Sunday morning. And it uh, won't be as long as it was last night, but we thank and praise God for the power of prayer and what was shared and what was released in the presence of God on last night. So we bless the Lord. So let's fill this news feed up with hearts for the Lord. Let's Let's just go in with God. Happy Sunday, uh, Sister Denise. Happy Sunday, woman of God, my sister, my friend. Happy Sunday. Let's fill this news feed up with hearts for the Lord as we give God hearts of praise, hearts of gratitude, hearts of adoration. Happy Sunday, Minister Stephanie Tory. Happy Sunday to the Tory family. Amen. So come on, y'all. Let's not get silly. Let's fill this news feed up with hearts and give God praise as we uh, have already begun. Sunday morning live. We meet every Sunday morning from 7.55 to 8.05 is our meet and greet. And then we, uh, 8.05, we begin prayer and go into the word. Happy Sunday all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. My friend and sister, Alethea Bryan. Happy Sunday to the one and only Suzanne Austin Vega, all the way from New York City. Happy Sunday, my sweet sister. Good to see you on. Blessings to you and your family. And to everyone that's on this morning, if you really enjoy this ministry, you enjoy the teaching, please do me a good favor and press the share button. Sharing is caring. Someone on your news feed needs to hear this word of the Lord today. So please press the share button. And thank you for all my sharers that do share the message because it, it helps me to get out there and to put the word of God out there to share it with your friends, family, and loved ones. So please, everybody, press the share button. Sharing is caring. Happy Sunday. Yeah, I like these hearts. Let's give God hearts of praise, hearts of adoration. Thank you, Minister Stephanie Torrey, for sharing. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody, please press the share button and then let me know you shared 
so I can shout you out. Amen. So we give God praise this Sunday morning. Had an amazing night, as I said, of prayer last night. Prayer gathering from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, you can hear the word on the same page, the word of God you can hear from last night, which is basically going to be the same today. Thank you, uh, Katrina Miller, for sharing. Thank you, Sonia Roundtree, for sharing. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Jill, for sharing. Thank you, A.J. LeBoy Rubenstein, for sharing. Yes, sharing is caring. Thank you so much that we can uh, bless someone's life this morning. You never know what people uh, write in your and your uh, your friends on your page are going through. Happy Sunday morning to Vonnie Jackson, who is one of our uh, senior sharers. She's always shares the message, so we thank you, Vonnie Jackson. Blessings to Grandma and to uh, your mom and family and to your mister. Thank you, Alithia Bryant, for sharing. Oh, yes. Sharing is caring. So we're just going to pray that God just turn up the anointing that those that may be on your page will be blessed by today's message and blessed by today's prayer. We're definitely living in a time where we can't pray enough. We can't stay in the presence of God enough. So we just thank and praise God for his goodness, his mercy, and his grace. For those of you that would like to meet us in person, you can meet with us every Saturday night, 69 Myrtle Street, Cranford, New Jersey, in the Great Room, where great things are happening in the Great Room. Um, for the summer months, we meet from uh, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. We have an hour of power. Thank you, uh, woman of God, Sister Denise McGeechan, for sharing. Amen. Uh, so we meet every Saturday night from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. For the summer months, we do begin prayer at 530, 69 Myrtle Street, Cranford, New Jersey. Uh, Harvest Training Center and our ministry entrance is in the back. You'll see the cards in the back. So please join us one Saturday night for Summer in the Psalms. Summer in the Psalms. Every uh, Saturday night for the summer months, with the exception of the fourth Saturday, which is our Encounter with God prayer gathering. Encounter with God prayer gathering is every fourth Saturday in person uh, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So we try to have a good summer hour. So if you want to do something after church, that we can still give God praise and still get out at a good time and still do something. Yeah, so at last night I took Damien. We went out to eat after service. So we still have a good time and I still got home at a good time. And plus, y'all know, y'all y'all do what y'all want. So we give God praise. It's always good to keep God first. The words to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto us. Amen. Time is swiftly moving. It's 8.02 in the worshiping sanctuary. At 8.05, we will begin prayer, and we will see what God has in store for us today. Just because you tuned in today means God has something great in store for you. Oh, let me show y'all my t-shirt. I picked up this t-shirt last week. It says, y'all need Jesus. <laughs> it should say, we need Jesus, because I need him too. So I picked this up. I like this t-shirt. It says, y'all need Jesus. If you need Jesus, let me see you put in a thumbs up emoji. If you need Jesus, put up a thumbs up emoji. Hallelujah. We all need Jesus. Even if you don't know you need Jesus or realize you need Jesus, you need Jesus too. Amen. We all need Jesus. So I thought it was a cute shirt. Y'all need Jesus. So to God be the glory for the great things he has done. Amen. Praise God for another day. Yes, I'm so grateful for another day. There you go, Norman Bells. Yes, a friend of mine lost her 23-year-old daughter due to overdose. I attended her service on Friday. Please lift up the youth and her family. Amen. So, Father, we just lift up this uh, mother who lost her 23-year-old daughter and the family. We pray that you cover them, keep them, and strengthen them, Lord. And we just release supernatural healing and strength to all of our youth. In Jesus' name, amen. We prayed for our youth last night in our service. We had Pastor Matt pray for the youth, one of our young leaders in um it's definitely, we, def we definitely have to keep people in prayer because uh, suicide is real and we really need to safeguard our, our, our children and our loved ones with the power of prayer. Happy Sunday night, Ricardo. Been missing you. Blessings to you and the family in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just glad to be on this morning. We thank God for his goodness, his mercy, and his grace. Uh, continue to bless Naira Carter. If she's home or at work, bless her, bless her family in Jesus' name. Y'all come out and see me. It's the summer months. Before it gets cold, come out and see me on Saturday night, 69 Myrtle Street, Cranford, New Jersey. We only have service for an hour. 
for the summer months. We really don't hold long even when it's not summer, but I specifically make sure we keep it an hour for the summer so people can still get home while it's light and still do something after service. So every Saturday night, yes, overdose, yes, it's a new suicide, yes, and we lift that up in Jesus' name. So every Saturday night, 69 Myrtle Street, Cranford, New Jersey, an hour of power from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Come on out and be with us in person. Thank you, Sonia. Yes, Katrina, overdoses are the new suicide. Yes, so we got to continue to keep up, to, to pray for our youth, to pray for our adults, and to keep people in prayer that the Lord will uh, restore their souls, their minds, their wills, their emotions in Jesus' name. Happy Sunday morning, Carol Raptus. Good to see you on this morning. It's 8.04. We will begin promptly at 8.05 with prayer. Happy Sunday morning. Welcome to our fourth Saturday Encounter with God prayer gathering weekend. Amen. So we're going to have some good uh, prayer this morning, some good scriptures, and then we're going to see what God has in store for us. Amen. Amen. It's prayer time. Let's pray. Father, we come to you this morning. We bless you. We thank you for this day. For truly, this is the day that you have made, and we come to rejoice and to be glad and know God. We ask you this morning to continue to wash us, cleanse us, purify us, in your blood, forgive us for everything that we have thought, said, done, spoken against your will and against your word. And Lord, your word says if we confess our sins, that you're faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord. So Lord, we ask that you continue to cleanse us, wash us, purify us of everything that we have thought, said, done, spoken against your will and against your word. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that continues to cleanse us from all of our sins, past, present, and future in Jesus' name. And Father, as we come to our fourth uh, Saturday, fourth Sunday morning encounter with God, prayer gathering, we just uh, release your power this morning. We release your anointing, your, your grace this morning in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for the power of prayer. Your word declares that men are always to pray and not to faint, lose heart, and give up. So Lord, we come to you this morning. We seek your face this morning uh, by way of prayer. We want to be... Uh, well equipped to pray, not just for ourselves, but for the needs of other people's Lord in Jesus name. Father, you've called us to the world. You, you admonish us to go into all the world and to preach the gospel to every creature. So Father God, we pray that you cause us all that know you to make a difference in the earth, oh God, to, to use us wherever you choose to use us to uh, encourage other people, to bless other people, to bring them into salvation, deliverance, and wholeness, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Father, as we listen this morning, as we come into your word, as we just lift up these scriptures, Father God, we pray for an anointing that will remove burdens. We pray for an anointing that will destroy yokes. We pray for an anointing that will change lives. Let no one who's on these airwaves this morning leave the same in Jesus' name. And Father, I pray a special prayer for those that are sick. If you have an ailment, or you're going through something, uh, a health challenge or something on your body is hurting you this morning. I want you to just take uh, this moment and to touch whatever's hurting you. If it's your arm, if it's your leg, whatever's hurting you, I want you to touch that area or to, to rub that area uh, of your body right now as I pray a prayer of healing for you in Jesus name. We know that the Lord is he a healer. Um, Isaiah 53 and 5 says that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. And I'm going to pray for your physical healing and also pray for your emotional healing that God will bring healing for your soul. Sometimes your body feels good, but you're going through emotions of depression, oppression, fear, lack, or, or, or you may just feel yucky. Uh, but we want to pray because the Lord is the glory and lifter of your head. And we know that there is power in prayer. There's power in prayer that we serve a God that hears and answers prayer. Amen. So, Father, we just come this morning on behalf of those that may be sick in their body, Lord. And whatever parts of their body they're touching now as a point of contact, we pray for healing now in Jesus name. Lord, your word declares that you were wounded for our transgressions that you were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, Lord, and by your stripes, we are healed. So Father, I release healing to everyone who's going through in their physical bodies, everyone that's in pain, everyone that's in discomfort, everyone that just needs a touch from you this morning. So Father, we thank you that you are the Lord that heals us. And Father, I pray for physical healing. I pray for those that are going through in their emotions, those that may be discouraged, those that may be depressed, those that just may feel blah this morning, I thank you that you're the glory and lifter of our heads. 
Father, I release your joy. Your word declares that the joy of the Lord is our strength. I thank you for Isaiah 53, for Isaiah 26 and 3 that says you would keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. So Father, I release your peace, your joy, your strength, your laughter to your sons and daughter this morning. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you that we move past the things that would try to keep us down. We move past the things that would try to uh, vex our spirit this morning. And Father, we just release encouragement. That's the word. We release a, a spirit of encouragement this morning that you would be the glory and lifter of all of our heads, Father God, in Jesus' name. We bind depression. We bind oppression. We bind overdose. We bind suicidal thoughts this morning in Jesus' name. And Father, we just press in for our children that you bring them into healing and wholeness to our young people this morning in Jesus' name, to our teenagers. Father, we thank you that they don't have to suffer in silence, but Father, we thank you that you will cause us to rise up and to be discerning and to pray for our youth this morning in Jesus' name. Those in elementary school, those in middle school, those in high school, those that have suicidal thoughts, Lord, those that have thoughts of overdose, we curse it right now in Jesus' name. And Father, we speak life to their soul. We say that you shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. So Father, we come against depression for our youth. We come against oppression for our youth. We come against um, low self-esteem, low self-worth, low self-image in Jesus' name. And Father, cause our young people to know, our young women and men, cause them to know that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. Cause them to know you as Lord and Savior of their lives. In Jesus' name, and we pray this morning that you would be the Lord that fills every void and meets every need in our young people's life and our adults this morning in the matchless name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you this morning to be mighty in our midst. We welcome you to move, Father God, amongst your people this morning as we come to this encounter with God prayer gathering this morning, this virtual prayer gathering, Father God. We release your power. We release your gifts. We release your anointing, Lord, in Jesus' matchless name. To everyone that's watching this morning, we pray for freedom this morning. Let freedom reign in their lives this morning in Jesus' name. Father, let them not be burdened. Let them not be discouraged. Father God, we come against every spirit of discouragement this morning in Jesus' name. And Father God, I release freedom to your sons and daughters this morning. We thank you that no weapon formed against anyone on this broadcast shall prosper in Jesus' name. Father God, I ask that you jolt them this morning, that you that you lift them this morning, Father God, that you let your perfect will be done in their lives. I, I release a fresh anointing, fresh strength, fresh power, fresh zeal, fresh excitement. Lord, restore their joy. Hallelujah. Some of you, uh, your joy has been really low, but this morning the Lord wants to restore your joy. If, if you need your, if you need your joy restored, just type in the word joy, J O Y. Just receive the joy of the Lord as your strength. The joy of the Lord as your strength. Thank you. God bless you, Donna, Marcia, and Audrey DeMola. God bless everyone that's on. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I release a fresh batch of joy. Lord, we thank you that as your mercies are new every morning, we release joy and peace and strength in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Sonia. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Liz. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Patricia, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you take these, your daughters and sons that are watching, take their joy levels to a new uh, place in you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday, Suzanne Mara. Welcome home. God bless you, Tia Mac. God bless everybody. Father God, we thank you that the joy of the Lord is your strength. I release supernatural joy and strength this morning in Jesus' name. The word says, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And those of you that have been crying, those of you where your spirit's been low, I release supernatural joy and strength to you this morning in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we come against every joy stealer this morning. Everything that comes to rob you of your joy, we release the joy of the Lord to be your strength. To Carol Raptors, to L.A. Rozelle, to A.J. Joy Rubenstein, to everyone that's on, to Claudia Carroll. I was just thinking about you, Father. Release your joy and strength to Claudia this morning, your daughter, whatever she needs this morning. Father, we speak release this morning in Jesus' name. Father, we just release a fresh anointing and fresh strength. Father, bless every single woman, every single man, every marriage this morning, every widow, every widow. Bless your people this morning in Jesus' name. 
Bless them, cover them, keep them, strengthen them, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, bless the children this morning. Bless our loved ones. Bless the, the youth this morning. Cover them, keep them. Those that are, uh, all of them, our college kids, our elementary school kids, those that are out for the summer, bless our children, bless our youth, bless them in the cities, bless them, cover them, keep them, strengthen them, Lord. In Jesus' matchless name, glory to God. We bless the Lord. Amen. So we bless the Lord this morning. And I just release joy this morning that the joy of the Lord be your strength in Jesus name. Amen. Let's give God praise. If you receive that prayer, you receive those declarations. Just type in amen or thumbs up. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. All right. Happy Sunday morning, everybody. Welcome to our Weekend Encounter with God prayer gathering. This is our virtual prayer gathering. Every fourth Saturday of the month, we um, spend time with the Lord in prayer. Um, in person, every sat in, in person on the fourth Saturday for the summer months, we meet from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at uh, 69 Myrtle Street, Cranford, New Jersey. On Sunday mornings, we meet virtually via, <clears throat> excuse me, via Facebook Live. And thank you for all that are tuning in and thank you for all those that shared. If you haven't shared, please right now, <clears throat> excuse me, press the share button. Amen. So I want to talk about encounter with God, encounter with God, encounter with God. Amen. Encounter with God prayer gathering. As I was preparing for fourth Saturday, the Lord placed it on my heart to call it encounter with God prayer gathering. So you're going to hear that. Um, you're going to hear that. Uh, God bless you, Mom, Roxy Star. We speak God's strength to you this morning in Jesus' name. You're going to be hearing that title, Encounter with God, more. So our, our Encounter with God prayer gathering. To encounter means to come upon or experience unexpectedly. And when I was looking it up, it, it, encounter kind of had a negative connotation. So it said to encounter difficulties. Uh, but we as believers, we have countered enough difficulties <clears throat> if you have encountered enough difficulties, please type in the word yes. <clears throat> Amen. So we, we don't want to focus on uh, negative difficulties or we don't want to focus on encountering difficulties. We want and desire to encounter God and his goodness. Amen. We want to encounter God as we come together and pray, as we come together uh, corporately and pray or even in your life, we want to encounter God and his goodness. Amen. David said, I, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see and experience and encounter the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again because it's worth saying again. To encounter means to come upon or experience unexpectedly. One of the definitions with the word encounter was to encounter difficulties, but we have encountered enough difficulties. I see your yeses. Enough is enough. We have encountered enough difficulties. So we as believers, we as people that follow God, we want and desire to encounter God and his goodness. And we want to do like David said in the Psalm, I would have fainted. Psalm 27, 13 says, I would have fainted. I would have given up. I would have thrown in a towel unless or except I had believed to see and experience or encounter what? The goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Right now, I release the goodness of the Lord into your lives in Jesus name. Yes, Lord, I release God's goodness to you in Jesus name. If you receive this word, you receive the goodness of the Lord, just send a thumbs up or, or, or just say yes. Father, I release the goodness of the Lord for your sons this morning. I release the goodness of the Lord for your daughters this morning. Lord David said in Psalm 23, Psalm 27, 13, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord. Okay, we we have, all, most of us, all of us have encountered some form of difficulties, but we have to shift, I might say shift. We have to shift our minds and shift our thinking and to experiencing the goodness of God. Amen. I know sometimes we can get overwhelmed by the negative or we can get overwhelmed by the difficulties that we've all experienced, 
But I want you this morning, as we're in Encounter with God prayer gathering, I want you to shift your mind and to shift your thinking into the goodness of God. The Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. So I want you to shift your mindset. I want you to shift your thinking into into the, into believing to encounter the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And most of uh, uh, most of you up here, you all have experienced the goodness of God. God has been good in your life and God has been faithful to your life. I love the song that says, all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. Amen. So for, for our life, but there's times when we experience or we have a lull where we just experience or we encounter difficulties. But even in the midst of difficulties, God is good. God is faithful, but I want you not to stay in the area of difficulties. I want you to shift your thinking into believing to see the goodness of the Lord. Where? In the land of the living. You can turn it at Psalm 27 and 13. So even in the midst of hell, even in the midst of warfare, even in the midst of difficulties, I want you to shift your mind and shift your thinking into the goodness of of the Lord. David said in Psalm 27, 13, I would have fainted. I would have quit. I would have given up unless I had believed to see and experience and encounter the goodness of the Lord. Where? In the land of the living. So Father, I release this morning as everyone is watching, as everyone is on this morning, I release your goodness to follow your sons and daughters all the days of your life. Your goodness and mercy will follow them all the days of their life. And Father God, whatever areas that are low, that they're low in right now, whatever spirit, whatever areas you're not seeing your goodness, let your goodness reign in every area of you, their lives. Let your goodness reign in their marriages. Let your goodness reign amongst our singles. Let your, let your goodness reign amongst our children. Let your goodness reign upon our ministries. Let your, your goodness reign upon our jobs, our businesses, and every area of, of, of our lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. Good morning, Sunshine Nessa. Let your goodness reign upon your daughter, Sunshine Nessa, in every area of her life, Father God. Everything that she puts her hands to, she prospers in Jesus' name. So I release the goodness of God. That's good. I release the goodness of God in all of your lives. And I want you to receive his goodness. You can know about his goodness, but you have to know that God's goodness is for you. And I know this word is for somebody because I didn't linger on this last night. But I want there's somebody up here this morning that need that that may be low in their spirit or, or may be contemplating quitting something. But I want you to know by the spirit of God that you, that God wants to rain, rain down upon you with his goodness. And the word says, his goodness and mercy should follow you all the days of your life. So I want you to believe, shift your mind to believe in God, to see the goodness of the Lord where? In the land of the living. Amen. So uh, to encounter, to uh, it also means, to encounter means to encounter a new situation. Amen. So we, we just believe, God, that you'll encounter new situations. But I want to give you some synonyms for the word encounter. Some synonyms for the word encounter are number one is to meet. When, when we encounter God, we want, we meet with God. Amen. Just like we're doing this Sunday morning, we're meeting with God. We, we're, we're coming away, whether you're laying in bed listening, whether you're cooking eggs and bacon listening, you're, you're meeting with God. We have come to meet with God. I could have stayed in the bed. You could have stayed in the bed, but we got up to meet with God. So one of the synonyms for the word encounter is to meet. Number two, Another definition, another synonym for the word encounter is to confront. We thank God that even God may confront us about some issues in our life. So who the Lord loves, he chases, who the Lord loves, he corrects, who the Lord loves, he confronts. And sometimes in life we have to confront people or situations, amen? So one, uh, another word, another synonym for the word encounter is to confront. Number three, another word is to greet or to welcome. And when we come into prayer, when we come into a time of gathering with God, we welcome his Holy Spirit to speak to us, to speak through someone else, to use us for his glory. Amen. Another synonym for the word encounter is to happen upon, to happen upon. Amen. We thank God we want to happen upon good things. Amen. Another synonym is the word face. We believe God for face to face encounters. When you encounter God, your life will change. Amen. When you encounter God, your life will change. 
with not, not from a religious aspect, but from an intimacy act, aspect, from knowing God, for, for walking with God and talking with God and drawing close to God. The Lord said, if you draw close to God, what will he do? He will draw close to you. Amen. Another word for the, another, another synonym for the word encounter is to cross paths with. We want our, we want our paths to cross. We want to be in sync with God. We want to move in sync with God. We don't want to be in one place and God is somewhere else. Amen. The last two words, the uh, seventh word for the uh, se seventh word, uh, synonym for the word encounter is to re-encounter. Um, we may have had encounters with God, but we want to re-encounter God because there's there's so much of God that we've yet to learn. There's so much of God that we've yet to see. So we want to be open to re-encounter God for fresh God encounters. And number eight is to re-meet. Amen. To re-meet. So I'm going to release those uh, synonyms for the word encounter again. Number one is meet. Number two is confront. Number three is greet or welcome. Number four is happen upon. Number five is to face. Number six is to cross paths with. Number seven is to re-encounter. And number eight is to re-meet. When we meet with God in prayer individually or corporately, we want to encounter God. That means, God, you can speak to me. You can correct me. You can show me things to come. Amen. He's a great and mighty God and he'll show you things to come. Amen. Glory to God. So I'm going to read some Psalms. I have some prayer psalms I'm going to read for you that I'm going to pray and close you out. Amen. Let me take a sip. Let's give God praise. Amen. All right. All right. Our first scripture is Psalm 5. That's right. When I say give God praise, throw them hearts up. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 5 um, from the New Living Translation. I have three verses. David said, oh, Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning. Lord, each morning I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. Amen. So David says Psalm in Psalm 5, New Living Translation 1 through 3. Oh Lord, hear me as I pray. I want you to know that when you pray, the Lord hears you. When you pray, the Lord hears you. Amen. You may think, oh, he only hears the pastors or the prophets or the apostles or the teachers or the evangelists. No, he wants to hear. He wants to hear you and he wants to hear from you. He wants you to talk to him. He wants you to invite him in your day. He wants you to wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I thank you for another day. Lord, lead me. Lord, guide me. Lord, protect me. Lord, use me for your glory. So we want to be like David when he says, oh, Lord, hear me as I pray. Glory to God. We want to hear, we want uh, to know in our hearts that God hears us when we pray, when we talk to him. Amen. It says, pay attention to my groaning. Sometimes you may be going through and you may you may meet God in prayer with travailing, with groaning, with moaning, with uh, praying in the spirit, praying in English or, or just, just groaning before the Lord. You may be going through something and you're just groaning and praying, crying out to God. Amen. David said, listen to my cry for help. All of us have been in a place in our lives where we have to cry out for, to God for help. And we have to know that God is our help. People can help you as far as God will allow them to help you. But God is your ultimate help. And because God is your help, he will use people to help you and to bless your life. Amen. Listen to my cry for help. He said, my king and my God, David knew the Lord. He said, listen to my cry for help, my king and my God. He knew that he was his king. He knew that God was his God. For I pray to no one but you. He knew enough. He had enough know-how and enough wisdom and enough experience to know that he could. you may have many small G-O-Ds, but there's only one true and living God. Amen. For I pray to no one but you. Now I'm not praying to Buddha. I ain't praying to this idol to that idol. I'm praying to no one but you, the true and living God. He said, listen to my voice in the morning. And I believe this morning as we're praying to God this morning, that the Lord hears our voice. We're not just up here for nothing. We're not just not up here to hear Pastor Mark. We're here to hear from God's voice. He said, listen to my voice in the morning. When, when you cry out to God in the morning, and I know there are those people up here that may join in morning prayer lines or morning uh, prayer ministries that the Lord, that they, that they pray in the morning. The Lord says, uh, David said, listen to my voice in the morning. The Lord will listen to you any time of day, but it's good to start your day with the Lord in the morning. 
It says, Lord, each morning I bring my request to you. If you're going through something and if you have some prayer requests and petitions, bring them to the Lord. And then what do you do? Wait expectantly. Don't wait in doubt. Don't wait in fear. Don't wait in uh in unbelief. Don't wait in uh, doubt, but wait expecting. Expecting that God is going to do what? Answer your prayers. Amen. We serve a God that hears and answers prayer. We have to know that God wants to hear and answer our prayers. Amen. So David said here, oh Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning. Lord, each morning I bring my request to you. When you have requests, don't bring them to the, to the phone. Bring them to the throne. Amen. And wait in great expectation that God is the God that will hear and answer prayer. Amen. That was Psalm 5, verses 1 through 3 from the New Living Translation. Um, now we're going to go to Psalm 34. Psalm 34 and 1 from the New Living Translation says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Verse 4 says, I pray to the Lord. David said, I pray to the Lord. And what happened? He answered me. As you pray to the Lord, the Lord will answer you. Amen. He may not answer you in your timetable. He may not answer you the way you want to be answered, but the Lord will answer you. Glory to God. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. In my desperation, David said, in my desperation, hallelujah. We have all sometime or another been desperate and we cried out and prayed to the Lord. He says, David said, in my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. But I, I like verse four. David said, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He didn't say I prayed to the Lord and he left me. He didn't, he didn't say I prayed to the Lord and the Lord left me hanging. He said, I pray to the Lord. And what happened? He answered me. And as you pray to the Lord, the Lord will answer you. We have to trust his answers and we have to trust his timing. Amen. Glory to God. Verse six says, in my desperation, all of us have been desperate. We've been desperate. We've been hurting. We've had pains. We have situations. We've had loss of loved ones. In my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He didn't turn my back. He didn't turn his back, but he listened. He says, in my desperation, God bless you, Sister Ramona. Happy Sunday. Verse six says, in my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. Glory to God. So in our desperate times, when we can cry to nobody else but God, we can go to God. He says, in my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. Amen. That was Psalm 34 verses one through seven from the New Living Translation. Amen. All righty then. And our last scripture is Psalm 63. Psalm 63. Then we're going to go into prayer. Psalm 63 and one. It says, oh God, you are my God. How many How many people is he your God today? If he's your God today, let me see. Thumbs up. Thank you, Ramon. I received that blessing in Jesus name. David said, oh God, you are my God. He didn't say you are a God. He made it personal. One thing I like about the Psalms is that David made it personal. He knew the Lord. Um, we, we've been teaching for the summer months, summer in the Psalms. And if I'm telling you, if you just read the Psalms, you get so much. David talks about righteousness and truth, even though he missed it in a lot of areas. He knew Excuse me. He knew the truth. He knew the word. He knew that God loved truth. He knew that God was a God of righteousness. And when you read the Psalms, um, it's life changing. Amen. David's life is life changing. That's why when we're going through, we always revert back to the Psalms because Psalms is like uh, it's real. And this is these are prayers and things that the Lord that David said to God from his heart. Amen. Psalm 63 and 1. It says, Oh God, you are my God. And I encourage you today to make God your God, to make him your God, 
to make him personal. Don't just make him a God, make him your God, make it personal. Receive him into your life, into your heart as Lord and Savior. Amen. It says here, David, I can't get past Psalm 1 and 1, 63 and 1. Psalm 63, 1, New Living Translation. Oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul, I love that. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you. Glory to God. In this parched and weary land. We are definitely in a parched and weary land. And people are looking for peace and solace and everything. But I'm telling you, he's right there. The Lord is right there for you. Amen. If you know people that are hurting, you know people that are hungry, you know people that are looking for love in all the wrong places, you see people going astray, lead them to Jesus. I'm going to say it for y'all in the back. Lead them to Jesus. Pray. For, if you see people that are going through, um, they're just searching, searching, searching. Take time and pray for them. Pray over them. Touch them and pray for them. Psalm 63 and what? Oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. The world's souls are thirsty. They're looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm telling you, they have, thir they have to thirst no more because Jesus is the thirst quencher. Jesus is the thirst quencher. Glory to God. It says, my soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in your sanctuary and gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live. I love this. Lifting up my hands to you in prayer. Lifting up my hands to you in prayer. Not in murmuring, not in complaining, not in doubt, not in unbelief. Lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. That was Psalm 63 verses 1 through 5 from the New Living Translation. And those were our prayer scriptures for this morning. But I love Psalm 63 and 4. I will praise you as long as I live. I'm telling you. I will praise God as long as I live. As long as there is breath in my body, I choose to praise the Lord as long as, as David said, I will praise you as long as I live. That's, that should be mine and your confession. I will praise you as long as I live. As long as there is breath in my body, I will do what Psalm 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continue to be in my mouth through the good times through the bad times through the up times through the down times through people leaving through people not liking you i will choose to praise god amen with tears streaming down my face i choose to praise the lord i will praise you as long as i live lifting up my hands to you in prayer glory to god amen so those were our prayer scriptures i'm gonna read them again for those who may just got on even though you can turn back i read for you this morning um, prayer in the Psalms, Psalm 5, verses 1 through 3, New Living Translation. Psalm 34, verses 1 through 7, New Living Translation. Uh, Psalm 63, verses 1 through 4, New Living Translation. Amen. Encountering with God, encounter with God, prayer gathering. So this morning we're going to pray. Let's see how our time is looking. Oh, good time. Okay. So we're going to pray. We pray that these scriptures bless you. Um, this is just, we had an in-person prayer gathering on last night. So let's, uh, today we're just going to have an in-person prayer gathering. So we're going to, I'm going to pray. Um, yes. Sunshine is the prayers are powerful and the only answer. Amen. So we serve a God that hears and answers prayer. So let's pray. Father, we come to you this morning. We bless you. We thank you for this day. I lift up everyone that's watching this morning. I lift up everyone that's listening this morning in Jesus' name. And I just want you to just feel that just, just place your right hand on your heart this morning. Just place your right hand upon your heart. I want to pray over everyone that's listening this morning in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you for your word. We thank you for uh, the reminders that David gave us through the Psalms, oh God, in Jesus' name. And Father, I just pray for everyone that's watching I lift up every situation that your people are going through this morning. Things I may know and things I don't know, but Lord, you know it all. You know how your sons and daughters are feeling. 
You know what they've been through this past week. You know what they've been through even this weekend. And Father, I pray that you show yourself mighty and that you show yourself strong in Jesus name. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this prayer. We pray that you bless everyone that's watching. Lord, everyone's situation is different. Everyone's going through different things this morning, but Lord, you're able to meet us and to reach us at our point of contact, Lord, in Jesus' name. So Father, I pray for those this morning that are going through a difficult situation. I pray for those that are going through a heart, that are in a hard place today, Lord. I pray that you show yourself mighty, that you show yourself strong, that you have your way on these lines in Jesus' name. And Father God, I pray that you lift every burden and that you destroy every yoke this morning, every hurt, every pain, every resentment. Lord, anyone that's holding unforgiveness, anyone that's holding a grudge, Father, we pray that you let it go this morning in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you desire to free us. I release freedom this morning in Jesus' name. Let no one feel guilty. Let no one feel shame or condemn, Lord, in Jesus' name. For your word declares that there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. So, Father, we pray this morning that you bless your sons, that you bless your daughters, that you meet, Father God, that you bring restoration to family members, that you bring restoration to loved ones this morning in Jesus' name. Father, we pray this morning for breakthrough in your people's life this morning in Jesus' name. Father, cover children, cover sons, cover daughters, cover grandsons, co cover granddaughters, cover nieces, nephews, uncles, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, cover families this morning in Jesus' name. Cover, cover, cover in your blood, in the massless name of Jesus. Let forgiveness reign in families. Let bygones be bygones, Lord. Let there be no grudge holding, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we just release forgiveness and freedom. Lord, life is too short to hold on to unnecessary baggage in Jesus' name. So, Father, we just give it to you. We cast all of our cares upon you this morning because you care for us. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for that you don't want us to carry anything, Lord. But your word says in 1 Peter 5 and 7 that we're to cast all of our cares, our concerns, our worries upon you because you care for us. So Father, I pray that you that you take away every challenge and every burden that your people are going through. And Father God, whatever lessons you want your people to learn, let them learn the lessons let them learn the wisdom and be able to move on, Lord, in Jesus' name. And some things that may not go away easily, Lord, we thank you that your grace is sufficient to carry them through. Whatever you're going through this morning, the Lord is saying to you that my grace is sufficient to carry you through. Hallelujah. God's grace will carry you through. Hallelujah. Maybe you're going through a health challenge. Maybe you're going through something with a family member, but God's grace is the grace to carry you through. God will carry you through. He will grace you through. To grace means to help, to strengthen, to support you. God will strengthen you. God will grace you through. If that's you this morning, type in amen. That's the word of the Lord for you, that God's grace. Some, sometimes you may see, how am I going to make it? How am I going to go through this? God's grace will carry you through day by day. His mercies are new every morning. Glory to God. So Father, we thank you for carrying your sons and daughters through every storm, through every challenge, through every difficulty, that your grace is sufficient. In Jesus' name, your grace is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient. Your grace is more than enough. We bless you. We thank you, Father God. We thank you that you anoint our heads with oil and that our cups run over. Bless your sons. Bless your daughters. Give them strength. Father, we release Ephesians 6, 6, Ephesians 6, that they're to put on the whole armor of God, that they're able to stand against the wiles and tricks of the enemy, Lord, in Jesus' name. And even though the enemy may come against them one way, the enemy must flee seven ways in Jesus' name. So, Father, we come against the works of darkness. We come against the works of the enemy that come to discourage, that come to bring you down. And I say this morning that the Lord is the glory and lifter of your head in Jesus' name. So, Father, we bless you. Those that are laying on their bed, those that are drifting and sleeping, Father, grace them this morning, strengthen them this morning, help them this morning to go through, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we release fresh God encounters, Lord, even after this 
teaching is over after this broadcast. So Lord, cause your people to encounter you. Cause them to seek your face. Cause them to lay before you. Speak to them. Speak through them. Father God, whatever they need to know, speak to them, Father God, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Lord, we bless you this morning. We thank you. So, Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you that you love your sons and daughters. We thank you that there's therefore no condemnation this morning in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that you fill every void and meet every need in your people's lives. Lord, even, even the personal things, the things that are near and dear to their hearts, the hurts and pains that they share with nobody. Lord, you know, and I pray this morning that you fill every void and meet every need for your sons and daughters this morning. We thank you for this time of prayer. We ask that you continue to bless and cover your sons and daughters this morning. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. Father, we thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for change. We thank you for turnaround. We thank you for answer prayer. We thank you that when we pray to you that you hear us, Lord. So, Father, I just release testimonies of your goodness that your, your sons and daughters will see and experience and encounter the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Let them stay close to you, Father God. Your word declares if we draw close to you, that you would draw close to us. And I just sense a peace right now. I just sense the Lord releasing a peace to you, a peace and a calm to your soul. Amen. If, if you need that peace, just, just touch your chest just touch your, and receive the peace of God. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. We release the peace of God this morning. In the midst of in the midst of drama, in the midst of turmoil, we release your peace this morning. In Jesus' name. We thank you that you keep us in perfect peace as we keep our minds stayed on you. And we bless you. And we thank you, Lord. Father, we lift up every request that your sons and daughters have this morning as we close. We lift up every request and we say, Lord, have your way. We release your grace, your mercy, and your strength. And give them the strength to go through until whatever they're believing you for, until it comes to pass. And Father, we bless you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. Let's get throw up some hearts for the Lord as we get ready to close. Amen. Glory to God. I want to, I want to see who's been doing our challenge. Last week, I gave you a five-minute-per-day challenge. What was the five-minute challenge? is to read Psalms five minutes a day. As we're in summer in the Psalms, you're to read a Psalm or spend time in the Psalm for five minutes. Uh-oh, y'all forgot. Y'all scroll and do everything else longer than that. So I'm. if you haven't done it, don't feel condemned. But every day, starting with today, read, spend five minutes in the Psalms. Summer in the Psalms in Jesus' name. I bless you this morning. I pray that you were blessed by the prayer, I want you to stay in high expectation, believing to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I bless you. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your day today. Know that you're the, that he's the God that hears and answers prayer. prayer. Now, yeah, you can't read five, just five minutes. No, that five minutes is going to turn into more. That's right, Jill. So I love you. That's your challenge to read summer in the Psalms. Five minutes each day in the Psalms. Amen. All right. I love you. If y'all need me, y'all know how to contact me. God bless you, Minister Steph. And just enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend and be good to yourself. God is good to us, but be good to yourself. Thank you, Joe. Have a great day and a great week, everybody. Love you. Bless you, AJ LaBoy Rubenstein. Blessings upon you. Bless you, Brother Thomas Smith. Bless you, Pastor Bev. She says, Summer in the Psalms, read daily. That's right. Missed you last night, Pastor Bev. Missed you and love you. Thank you for being on. Thank you for your continued love and support. Love you too, Sonia Roundtree. Love you too, Donna. I love you all. Have a blessed day, everybody, and enjoy your day. Love you.